it is no more a secret that applying for senior care assistant jobs or care assistant jobs in the UK with visa sponsorship has become extremely, extremely difficult. The competition is super, super, super tight. It is so tough. People are losing hope. It's becoming just too much. But I feel like there's not enough information about what I'm about to talk about. It is also a very great opportunity for you to relocate to the UK. Like, why is everybody concentrating on applying for care assistant jobs instead of applying for nursing associate jobs, which is way better than being a care assistant. I feel like there's not enough information about nursing associates. And the shocking thing is most of these people that are applying for their care assistant jobs or their senior care jobs actually qualify to apply for nursing associate jobs, which is way better, pays way better. Like it's, it's just way better than the care assistant jobs. And I ask myself, why aren't people applying for that instead? Because for that one, not lots of people know about it. So there's not so much traffic now. The competition is not as tight. And then also the pay is much, much better better in today's video i'll be talking about who a nursing associate is how much they earn how to apply and everything else that you need to know and the difference between a nursing associate and a, a nurse or a care assistant okay so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> So as you know, in the UK, the nursing ranks are arranged in bands, okay? So there's band one to band nine, with band one being the least and band nine being the highest, okay? Those are the senior like nurses. And if you relocate to the UK from anywhere else in the world, you start at band five. So I am talking right now, I'm a band five. Then later you progress to the higher bands, okay? And if you're a newly qualified nursing graduate in the UK as well, you also start at band five. But recently, the, the NMC has introduced something called a nursing associate okay so this was introduced not long ago and i feel like that's how come people are not so aware of this and are just applying for care assistant jobs care assistant jobs, when there's a much much better option they were introduced to bridge the gap between care assistants and nurses so nursing associates are higher than care assistants okay but they are a bit below the band five nurses and the amazing thing is that when you are a nursing associate you can actually do a short course that's like um, an 18 months course or a two years course to upgrade yourself to become a band five nurse actually and sometimes even the hospitals you are working for or the trust you are working for actually funds this program so you don't have to pay for anything most of the time to upgrade to become a band five nurse currently nursing associates earn as much as if you have less than three years experience you'll be earning as much as twenty four thousand pounds per year and if you have more than three years experience you'll be earning as much as twenty six thousand pounds per year or twenty seven thousand pounds per year so that's really really great somebody may ask what's the difference between like a, a senior carer or a care assistant and then this nursing associate thing so with a nursing associate is a big deal you know why because you are actually registered with the nursing and military council of the uk you have your own license and you have a pin just like the nurses and at the hospitals you are allowed to do most of the things that a band five nurse will do you are just that you're not allowed to give iv medication you're not allowed to make major decisions for a patient you'd have to consult obviously your nurse in charge or whatever but they do most of the things that nurses are allowed to do and you are licensed you have a license you have a pin Okay, so it's a big deal. Another big difference is that with nursing associates, you are usually not in care homes or nursing homes. You are actually needed in the hospital. So that's, that's that's really great. In a minute, I'll be telling you how to become one very, very soon. But before I do, before I even continue, hit the like button and then we continue. And subscribe. If you really want to go through this route and you want to be successful, just subscribe. So who qualifies to apply for this nursing associates thing? If you have some form of nursing education or some form of nursing qualification, okay but you don't meet the requirements to become a nurse in the uk because as you all know to become a band five nurse in the uk you'd have to have had at least three years nursing training or nursing education and you should have like a diploma or a degree or whatever but there are some people that do have some nursing education but they do not qualify they don't have a diploma they don't have a degree and they do not qualify to apply for band five nursing roles in the uk so those are the kind of people that are eligible to apply for in some countries they refer to these nurses as auxiliary nurses nurses assistant and road nurses community nurses so if you fall into this category and you have some form of nursing education you should try and apply when you, when you check the nmc websites they've written that you should have like a foundation level degree so a foundation level degree is, is above a senior high school certificate but it's not up to like um, a proper like university degree so it's in between like a high school certificate and like a proper like bachelor's degree or undergraduate degree but usually they say if you had at least two years nursing program you can do this but 
and let's say you had 18 months or you had less than two years and you're not sure whether you can actually really qualify i'll leave an email address that's the overseas nurse inquiry email of the nmc you can contact them they said you should have spent like at least two years in school but if let's say you were close to two years but not exactly two years and you want to be sure before you even go ahead i'll leave their email here you can you know send them an email and then inquire before you even start the process so now how do you start the process their process is actually quite similar to applying to be a nurse in the uk it's actually very 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 similar so what you do is that you create an nmc account okay so you go to www.nmc.org.uk so when you go to nmc.org.uk then you go to registration then you go to join in the register then you select register as a nursing associate okay and then you choose trained outside england okay you choose trained outside england and then you can select start your application and then you can read all the details there and then you can actually start the application this is what you should expect when you start the application so you create the account it's just like opening a facebook account it's just like creating an account with your email and creating a password so that you can always go and check the account and then see the progress of your application and all that so what happens is that they'll ask you to provide your identity evidence so they'll ask you to upload a scanned copy of the front page of your passport so if you have a change of name that does not tally with your school documents and other documents they would also ask you to provide further evidence to prove that you're the same person like maybe a marriage certificate or an affidavit or a divorce certificate or whatever whatever it is that has caused the change of name you provide all that there and also they'll let you also upload details of your training so you claim you have some form of nursing training right so they'll ask you to provide your nursing school certificate your nursing certificates and then they'll also ask you to input details of the school that you attended and then they'll ask your permission to contact the school to verify all these things they'll also ask you to provide details of the nursing council in your country so let's say um, you are in nigeria and let's say in nigeria auxiliary nurses are registered with the nursing council in nigeria they'll ask you for your permission and then they'll ask for the details of the nursing council in your country and then they'll also contact them after you've given them permission they'll ask them whether everything you gave them is true so before they do the contacting to do the verification you need to pay 140 pound or the equivalent in your country's currency so you have to pay with this with your visa card or if you don't have a visa card you can go to your bank and then they'll help you remember that this 140 pound is not refundable so make sure that you are actually eligible because if they go and do the checks and they realize that you're not eligible you've lost the money so that's why i said that if you do not have a two years nursing training send them an email first to check before you pay this amount because it's not refundable after you pay the money and then you submit all the details you have to give them 14 calendar days to get back to you and then they'll tell you whether you met the requirements or not okay so if you met the requirements that's good news now you can head over to the next stage okay so let's say they do the checks and then everything you said was true you're on point now they give you permission to do the test of competence so like i said it's just like coming to the uk as a nurse okay so it's similar to the process that i went through to become a nurse in the uk so they ask you to do the test of competence so there's a cbt exam which is a, a computer-based test that you can do in your country and um, i'll leave a link to how you can book for this as well there's even information on the nmc page as well you can check how you can book at any piercing view center in your country you book and then you write this exam the amazing thing is that they have all the study materials that you need for this exam on the nmc page so you just download the documents and you read and you go and practice for your exam and that's it that's it there's another exam that you also have to do which is practical but that one you'd have to come and do it in the uk it's a practical exam you have to come and do it in the uk it's an oski exam just like what the nurses do as well and they also have study materials for the oski as well so even before you come to the uk you can download them and then study for them there's also another part of the registration that you have to do you'd have to complete a health and character declaration okay so they want to know that you are fit enough to practice so they'll first of all ask you to declare that you are of good health you are fit enough so you do the health declaration you just take that you have good health or you just confirm yes and then they'll ask you to get proof of your health status from like a doctor or the occupational health whatever in the institution that you work so they'll need a doctor to verify that they have assessed you they've done medical checks and you're healthy let me also say that do not let this scare you let's say if you have a blood born virus like hiv or whatever do not let this scare you i've already done a video about it that you having a blood born virus does not deter you from practicing in the uk they have measures in place for people like you or for anybody that that has any disease at all they just want to know okay so do not lie don't let that scare you so you get a doctor to verify that they've done all the checks and you're healthy you're fit you don't have any disability blah 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 and then there's a character as well the character they'll need a reference from either your lecturers from your training institution or your nursing body or where you are currently working or if you know any registered nurse in the uk that knows you and has worked with you before that person can also give reference that you have good character and then that's it 
I tried searching for jobs. I wasn't even searching like seriously. I tried searching for nursing associate jobs on track jobs and I got so many of them that were actually offering visa sponsorship. So many of them and I'm like why are people targeting only care assistant jobs and then not looking at this other opportunity at all? Like why? I saw a couple of trusts that were recruiting nursing associates and offering COs, offering visa sponsorship. So that means like there is a demand for you guys as well. Okay. The only negative thing about this thing or the but about this thing is that if you are not from a major english speaking country you'll be required to prove that you are proficient in english and at the moment you can prove this by writing the ielts or the oet the ielts requirements to register as a nursing associate is the same as the nurses at the moment okay so you are expected to get an overall of band seven and at least 6.5 in writing you can also combine two test results if you start for them within six months of each other but you should not have had less than 6.5 in any of them and then you can also write the oet where you're supposed to get at least a c plus in writing okay i'll leave it on the screen so you can see so that's the only button however let me also tell you that you know the nmc is reviewing their english language requirements and one of the main things if you did the public consultation that they did you realize that they were asking us if they should reduce the english requirement for nursing associates since it's a lower like rank maybe they should reduce the expectation so i have a feeling that there's something positive that's going to come out of this maybe they'll reduce the IELTS requirements for the nursing associates very very soon but we have to give them up to like September or October to find out what they actually came out with after the whole um, you know reviewing process okay so keep your notifications on so that when they finally come out with the final decision I will definitely do a video on it and then you can see but you can actually start your process now okay and so after you've submitted your health declaration and your character declaration and then your English language requirements you meet the English language requirements they'll also ask for proof of indemnity arrangement so what they basically want to know is that when you get to the UK and you start practicing as a nursing associate you'd have like a professional indemnity arrangements in place for example you registering with RC it covers that okay so you just take that when you do get to the UK you, you do that okay so that's that's easy so for that one you have to pay 153 pound as your registration fee okay and that will be you done you pass your OSCE, you get your license, you get your PIN, and then you can start practicing as a nursing associate in the UK. And then also, let me also say that once you do your, um, you write the CBT, that's the, the exam, the computer-based exam that you can do in your country. Once you do that and you get the authorization to do the OSCE, you can actually also come to the UK on a visit visa with that and then come and do the OSCE on your own because you're, we've already given you the study materials online. You can come and do the OSCE on your own and then look for jobs in the UK when you're done. And that would be much, much easier and much much faster that's if you can afford all the business visa wahala okay so this is what i have for you today if you want to know more about the test of competence that's for the cbt exam with the nursing associate i will leave an email here that you can also ask them send them an email and then expect a reply in a couple of days you know they are very busy so expect a reply in a couple of days and they'll answer all your questions for you i believe this is the best time to start applying if you meet the requirements so if you're an enrolled nurse a community nurse a hack um, auxiliary nurse whatever so many can countries call it differently so if you meet this requirement you can take this opportunity and relocate to the uk and be licensed to practice as a nursing associate okay that's all i have for you if you got value from this please subscribe according to youtube almost 60 percent of my viewers are not subscribed that's not fair don't do that don't do that just subscribe okay so thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and i'll definitely answer you okay thank you so much bye